So in this video, we're going to look at the navigation of Google Classroom as a student. So we're looking at a screen now that is a student view. OK, we can look at this by going to people and then we can see all the people in our classroom. So that's everyone that's in my classroom at the moment. So let's go back to our stream here. And this is where we can see like a Facebook stream, really, of everything that's happening in our classroom. So any updates, any new assignments will all appear here. And over here, you will see any upcoming work that's due. So if you've set a due date and a due time, it will appear here. Then we've got our classwork tab. Now, this is very useful because in here is going to have all your assignments and you can organize these assignments quite effectively. And from here is also you can go to the Google Calendar and you can go to the class Google Drive. And this button here will let you see all your work. Then we've got here our classroom page. If we click our classroom page, that's going to go straight back to our stream. So that's a good way of getting back to our home area if we need to. Then over here, we've got a drop down menu. This is going to list all the classes that you've got available to you. It also has a to do list and it's also a way you can actually see your calendar. If you click on courses, this will take you to your dashboard and this will display all the classes that you've got access to. By clicking on the three dots here, you can unenroll. If you click on this button here, it will go to your classroom page and then here it will go to your Google Drive page for that particular classroom. We're going to click into the classroom by clicking on just the classroom here that takes us straight back into the stream. One other thing you can do on the drop down menu here is right at the bottom you've got settings. As a student you've got the ability to change some of these settings. Now depending how your administrator has set this up some of these may not be available for students but the important thing here is notifications on what kind of emails are going to be received by the student depending on what is happening in Google Classroom. For example, whether you're going to receive an email when somebody comments on your post, comments that mention you, etc, etc. Now at the bottom here you've got class notifications. So we can turn email and mobile notifications on and off for classroom notifications. So that's all the things you would need to see as a student. So let's go back into the classroom. And as we go through these videos, there'll be other things that come up that we can show you once we have content within the classroom. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.